Hi, Gurimis. So I have here our class caterpillars. They came in the mail a few days ago. And today we're gonna look at how much they have grown. So I made a chart that says, Allie's Caterpillar Measurements. And today is Monday, April 20th. So together we're gonna measure my caterpillars and we're gonna put down how big they are. So I took a look at these little guys and I noticed that some of them might be a little larger than others. So I might measure more than one. So when we do this project, you should find a caterpillar that's easy to measure. So see this guy's kind of laying down that way. I think he's a good one to measure. Can you see him? Here he is. So I'm going to take something called measuring tape. Measuring tape has a lot of numbers on it and it tells you how big something is. You can use measuring tape to measure how tall you are or you can use measuring tape to measure how big anything is in your house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the beginning and I'm going to put the measuring tape at the tail and go to the head of my caterpillar and it says that caterpillar we just looked at is one inch. So here it stopped at the number one right there. So I'm going to write down one inch. Now, let's see. This guy right here, he's one of my small ones. I have a small caterpillar up here. So we're going to, again, take our measuring tape and we're going to measure him, see whether it stops. And this guy, he's only half an inch. So I'm going to write down half an inch. That means that this little caterpillar, if you put two of him together, will equal one of this caterpillar. So this guy is growing a lot faster than our little guy up here. Another way you can measure if you don't have measuring tape is if you take, drop my pen, you can take a little piece of paper and you can put it up against your cup. Just like that. You see I have him marking, I have him marking off where the caterpillar is. And I take a pen and I put a line where the caterpillar begins and where the caterpillar ends. That's another way of measuring. You can make little marks on a piece of paper. You see my two marks? Can you try to measure your caterpillars? Let's check in on Liz and see how her caterpillars are doing. Hi, Karimis. I'm so excited. I got my caterpillars in last week and they've been eating and growing. I wonder how long they are. Well, I can measure them using something like this. This is called a tape measure. So when I measure, I always measure from the beginning. I can measure across or I can turn it this way to measure. I also have a ruler. Same thing. You start from the beginning and you, you can measure this way or across. It all depends where your caterpillar is. So I'm going to pick a caterpillar to measure just to show you and let's find out how long they are. So it looks like this is a good one to measure and I start from the beginning to the end and he's about one inch long. Let's see if we can pick another one to measure. Here's my ruler and I go from the beginning where the number one is, to the end, and same thing, one inch long. I can't wait to find out how long your caterpillars are. Send us pictures. Bye, Garimis.